Hello everyone, here's an update on the Foamy Camper build. You can see I have both halves done. I have them standing up. I built a fixture or armature, whichever one you want to call it, to hold both halves up. I have them at the right height. Uh, plus or minus an eighth of an inch. I've been cutting out notches uh, to attach my roof panels and uh, that's these and I will actually sand these take that sharp edge off and glass that uh, one thing about this foam uh, it is not structural at all it's it's a, a mostly air so what you have to do is you have to attach your outside surface to your inside surface to at least gain a little bit of strength so what I've done is I've notched this out and attached my inside to my outside that will give it some rigidity too so this is almost like a piece of angle and this will go pretty much at the halfway mark all the way around. And I did it on both sides. So you can see I'm using this peel ply and basically what this does is once I lay my fiber down my resin then I can put this over the top and when I peel this away the surface is ready to bond to. I don't have to do any mechanical sanding to that surface. Now we'll have to sand this because this is raw resin and I'll need to knock this down. I've got to sand it down anyways. So if you're going to do something like this and you don't like sanding, I hate sanding, then you're going to want to use uh, this peel ply. So it's coming out really well. This is one layer on the outside, so I'll put probably three layers on the outside. The width where the roof on this side, I've cut it off so I have 48 inches here, and then my roof will be flat. So here's the curved part. That's the end. So now the the flat roof part will come up about three inches or 75 millimeters, and it will be about 48 inches wide, a little over a meter wide. I still have to cut this off. And same thing with this. Um, I'll sand this smooth and I'll have to join the outside surface to the inside surface. So that becomes rigid on both sides. And then any pieces that I put on top. So here is one of my roof pieces. And that will go on top here. So I've sand that curve into this piece. Now, same thing applies to these. I have to glass both sides, but I also have to glass this surface to make this strong. So I might want to glass everything so it basically seals this up and makes it strong becomes a little more structural so when I was trying to expand the joints the gaps I was using the expanding foam I tried the great stuff this is the, the stuff that doesn't foam up nearly as much, up to one inch. And the problem with this is that in, both these do the same thing. They seal up gaps. But the great stuff stays very mushy. And because it's mushy and soft, it's very difficult to cut with a razor. A brand new razor, I, I barely could cut this. And then the other thing is, is that this stuff 
continues to expand and I ran into problems here that it just raised up a little bit more so I'm gonna have to come back and feather this out with some feathering compound just to get those ribs out this side I did with the GE stuff this stuff actually gets a little bit harder and it's a lot easier to cut with a razor but it did not expand it's flat so I don't have to do very much on that one so the next thing is I tried the foam fusion I'm not a big fan it does not dry completely it stays sort of rubbery so if you're joining two pieces together and you don't have to do any sanding this stuff's okay but just be aware that this does not dry completely the Gorilla Glue um, it just takes too long plus you have to mix water with it and it expands and it's pretty hard it's a lot harder to sand um, if this expanded a little bit this would be great but it, so what I did was I took some Gorilla Glue and I mixed it with some uh, foam fusion it did expand but the same problem was this did not dry completely uh, so any places that were protruding out past my surface um, I had to trim off with a razor so I probably I mean some some applications this works great um, usually what I like to use is contact spray this is what I've used in the past for doing other projects so these are almost the same one's a little bit more stickier than the other one uh, the only thing is when you spray this you have to spray it far back because the chemicals in there will melt the foam so if you spray it very lightly spray it on the surface very lightly and if you spray both sides so if I was joining this surface to this surface I would lightly spray this one and lightly spray that one and just wait a minute or two and then when you stick these together they bond instantly so just be aware that um, the chemicals in this will melt the foam if you spray too close and too much you don't need very much of this to bond foam together so that's pretty much an update right now I've got to get on to cutting the rest of this and glassing my pieces to get ready to attach to this. And I still have to sand this and glass this. Alright guys, see you in the next one.